I went from oh looking like a rat to a brat Ooh, baby. doll. Ooh, who is you, baby? Look good, baby. Give me that was a good one. Oh, yeah, baby. You look good. So before applying any type of wig, I like to oil my scalp with wild growth hair oil and make sure I keep my edges growing and my scalp glowing. Okay, honey? Then I'm going to take my wig cap and I'm going to put it on my head. But first I'm going to put it on my face because I've been seeing people, you know, cut holes in the eyes but still apply the wig like this. But then I thought I was against it, so I had to stop. So once the hair cap was tight and right, I cut holes in the ear parts or around the ears cap fit tight and right honey okay so as you can see here i'm just you know stretching out the hole <laughs> and then i grab my gotta be spray and i spray a whole bunch around the edges or the borders of my hairline the reason i spray so much is because i like to make sure that the cap is not only on my edges but it's also behind my edges so that way when the wig starts to slip my cap does not slip and i can keep the cap on without having to reapply it then I'm taking my hair blower and I am just blow drying that to make sure that it's nice, crispy, crunchy. If y'all know, if y'all ever tried to apply a wig with a wig cap with gotta be spray, y'all know that to know that it's on good enough, it has to be crispy. So then I went ahead and put another layer over it. And another layer. Yeah, I did that. So as you know, you always gotta sniff the wig to make sure that it smells right before you apply it on your head. And then in the next process, you will see me take my foundation with a foundation brush and really just put that color onto this wig. Um, and I forgot to mention, I got this wig from Ally Grace Hair. They are literally one of the best companies I have ever worked with. The wigs are snatched, beautiful, silky, nice, long. And when I say that the knots were already bleached, child, the knots was already bleached. If the lace was my skin color, I could have slapped that wig on and went about my day. But, as you know, I'm a little chocolate brownie, so I had to put a little color to the tint. I'm um, child anyways. After I cut off the extra wig cap, I went ahead and put another layer of Gotta Be spray on the border of it to make sure that it laid again. And then I'm going in with the Ghost Bond glue and just really applying that only on the border of the wig cap. Not my skin, not my hairline, but the wig cap. So that way when I'm gluing the wig, it's getting glued onto the wig cap. So as you can see, I'm just putting it all around the borders, making sure that it's nice, smooth, and clean. And then what I'm going to do is take my wig and just place it on the back of my head while I'm waiting for that layer of glue to dry. I took it upon myself to learn some TikToks in my spare time as I was waiting for the lace to dry. And... That didn't go so well so i ended up placing my lace a little bit early um before the glue actually already dried but i tend to do that sometimes just because i like to make sure that i get that extra hole so it's not seen in the video but i'm going to take my scarf and wrap it up as i wait for it to continue to dry and then i'm gonna come back with the final product oh there it is that's me baby what is you doing baby child what is you doing Anyways, so after I took off the headscarf, I went ahead and brushed the hair out and styled it. And I'm going to insert a clip after this so y'all can see how cute I was. Periana, baby, you look good. But if you guys are interested in seeing more hair tutorials and see me perfect my craft, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below what you want to see, and keep on watching, baby. Thank you so much. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I will see y'all on the next video. Mwah.